today we are going to get you better at manual sourcing i'm going to give you some tips you are going to go through how you should manual source how you should think about it and how you should apply the strategies that i'm going to give you today because the mistake a lot of people make is that they basically manual source the same way on every single website but every website is not built the same all those websites are built different and there's three you should put those websites in three buckets in my opinion this is how i see it there's three there's really three buckets and you should your strategy is going to differ a little bit on depending on on which website each on which bucket each website's fall so before we start we have a discord channel where i am answering your questions so if you have any question about any video any sourcing methods anything i talk about or just amazon in general or if you just want to hang out check the link in the description let's come hang out with us all right so let's get into the computer and let's start with the first bucket so in my opinion these are the websites that you should manual source the most the websites that fall in t in in this bucket so a good example will be fenty beauty so the first bucket will be for websites of webs like manufacturer website when you are directly on the brand's website it is best it's like all brands are not built the same like nike will not be the same as fenty beauty why you want to prioritize website with a small product press meaning that you want to manual source those websites that do not have a lot of product so this is the case for fenty beauty fenty beauty as we're going to see how much product they have in total that sells on amazon but it's going to be completely different than nike so if you go on nike.com it's going to be way more difficult for you to source because they have so much product right and what you want to do is the reason you want manual source is because knowing a brand will give you a competitive advantage because you want to basically those websites those manufacturer those brands website you want to have them on your daily target list and check them every single day so whenever there's a new product whenever there's a, a new promotion you are going to be aware and like it's going to be super easy for you because whenever there's a promotion if you know the brand you can just glance at the promotion look really quickly in the product list and you're going to know okay if today there's a 25 percent coupon i will be able and even without without looking you will be able to see you will be able to know okay there's a 25 percent coupon i know this product this product and this product are going to be really good with that 25 percent coupon because i purchased them in the past with a similar promotion so i'm going to look especially for those products and see if i can buy them with the coupon and same thing see like even if you find the products on another website in the future i had the case with a friend who was who, who showed me a lead from um from a brand that i sell a lot and he had it he did not find it on the brand's website but on another website and i directly saw that the price was too high and because when you really know a brand when you really when you have a deep knowledge of a brand you are going to be able to basically know because the product may seem the product may seem profitable but it could tank a little bit if you know a little bit about the the the, the sales cycle of the brand you will know that the product may be profitable but the price is way too high so if you go and buy a large quantity of inventory once the once the promotion hit on the brand's website the price is going to go down you will not be profitable anymore and this will disqualify a lot of leads this will broaden your sourcing knowledge and this will not only apply for those specific cases knowing the brands knowing the sales cycle knowing how low you can find a product will help you even when you source on other brand on other websites so you have a big competitive advantage so talking about fenty beauty so what you want to do is first thing you should do is just look at the sale the the sale the sale section of the website and just check all the product on sale check the sets check if you can break down the sets in different product disclaimer i do not source fenty beauty i sold some products from the brand when i used to do retail arbitrage but i just do not source the brand and let me do this little change and 
since I do not source the brand, like I cannot, I, I cannot say go ahead and look at this website. I have no idea. I don't know. The, I don't know the, their products. You may find some stuff that is profitable. It may not be profitable. I don't know. So, just so you know, little disclaimer. So, let me sip so, some coffee. So, you the first thing you should do for every single website that you want to to manual source is that falls in this bucket is to look at the sales cycle because it's not going to be a lot of products in the sale in, in the sales section I, I think i said sales cycle but i meant sales section so there's not going to be a lot so you can just check them all and you can see you can pretty much see what is in promotion check them all get an idea of the price get an idea of if it's profitable or not and then move on it's not going to take a long a long time so for example right there there's 19 products if you wanted to check them it's going to take you less than one hour okay so do this you go on amazon you type the let me show you real quick you go on amazon all right you are going on Amazon and you are going to type the name of the product in the search bar. So, for example, we wanted to do the Fenty Beauty stuff, right? So we are going to check. I'm not going to do the sets. We are going to check this one, the Pro Filter, Soft Matte, whatever. So we are going to check this. If my computer is letting me do it. Fenty Beauty Profile Filter. You will just put the name of the product. So be more accurate than me. Uh, I'm just doing it quickly, so I'm not typing the name correctly, I believe. But this is how you would do it. And boom. You see that it sells for $37.99. So it might be a good lead, actually, if you find the right, the right foundation color. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can find the right one. So look into it. Uh, it's $19. It sells for... 38 on amazon so it's going to be a really good lead so free leads for the boys i guess and the girls uh it's super good rank so check it out if you can make some money with the leads let us know in the comments let us know in the discord server as well and um yeah so this is how you would manual source so as you saw first product i check it's probably profitable so super easy guys those like understanding that this is your best opportunity when manual sourcing like talking about brands like i'm talking about brands with um checking directly the web the websites from the brands for brands that have a little that do not have too much product okay too many products which is the case for fenty which is the case for a lot of cosmetic brands so check those cosmetic brands other brands it may be the case for other brands even clothing brands even whatever you need to get to know the brands and um, try to discover a new brand every single day. And you may be able to do that. So, to, do, to, to go deeper with this strategy and with this specific bucket, right? What you want to do is, it's not, it's not going to be the only thing that you're going to check, all right? So, check the full price product because you can, like, it, it's not going to happen, like, as often. But you can find gold in the full price product. No. You won't have, when you go with the full price product, you won't have as big an advantage as if you were going with the, the sales product, right? But what you should do really after that is, and what I believe you need to do is go to Keepa, use the premium data. I have a full video on the premium data, so check it out um, on my channel. So what you want to do is come here in the Keepa premium data and... Um, scroll down so you're gonna scroll down up until you see this up until you see uh, the following fields right so you can enter the name of a brand right here and we're gonna do it so we are we are talking about Fenty so we are gonna do this and you can see that they have 294 products so you would select the brand and do not do anything else because you want to get to know the brands right it's a small brand you can check every product and do it it's gonna give you a competitive advantage do it for all the brands that fall in this bucket because this is the advantage that's gonna make you good at sourcing okay it's not about technique it's not about software it's not about this this and that it's about knowing the brands and having this competitive advantage this will make you really good at sourcing all right so once you are here click on find product there's 295 products right and just check them all from the one that sells the fastest to the one that's the, like just 
click here on the current sales rank and I should have not have done it. But it's going to give you the, I'm going to re-click on it. And so you are going to be able to sort them by sales rank, right? So if you do this, you can do it by current sales rank or by uh, 19 days, 90 days average sales rank, right? So by doing this, you will be able to see to, to pretty much see which product from this brand sells the fastest. So this is the product that we found, the pro filter, whatever. I don't know about makeup. All I know is that I'm selling makeup and like, I don't know that much about wake makeup, but I have no idea if it's the same product. I will never have to check. But um, yeah, the product that we found was a really fast selling product, right? And we can see that for a lot of them, the price is pretty good, right? If we can get it for $19, we're probably going to be able to make money. No. Why is this a really good thing to do, to check? I'm going to tell you a story. A few weeks ago, I discovered a new brand. I think it was um, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Road, whatever. I forgot how it's called. Apparently, it's a new brand from the brand Bobby Brown, a new makeup brand. And I noticed that a lot of their products had bad reviews. And I was able to check that just by checking here, right, on the right. Now... I mean, not a lot of their, their product, but a specific section of their product, right? So what I did is I came here and finally I did not source the brand, but they have a few products that are profitable. So what I did is I came here, I checked and I saw that, okay, a lot of their products have bad reviews, so it may not be a good brand to source. However, I found a few products, I think there were two products that had actually good reviews and they, that, that were good sales ranks, so I added them to my lead bank, but I did not purchase them because I was a little bit scared with the brands, with people not liking the products from the brand. So I do not really trust the brands and I do not want to deal with too much return, so I just left it away. So this is why you want to do, do your homework, learn the brands, because this will avoid you some headaches all right so this was for the first bucket now let's move to the second bucket the second type of website that you are going to manual source and this is going to be a little bit more advanced i should say so this is websites such as um like distributors websites such as footlocker such as whatever that you cannot source you can actually source footlocker with um tactical expander but we are not going to talk about that. We are going to do this. We are going to suppose that you cannot actually like scan the product, right? So what you want to do in those cases is it's a little bit more advanced. I say it's a little bit more advanced because you need to develop an eye for what actually sell on Amazon, right? So a lot of product, like just by checking, I know that a lot of products are not that I see right now on my screen are not gonna sell good on Amazon, right? So uh, I believe uh, if IP alerts, whatever, but check for what you can do is check for the brand that you know, filter for the brand that you know, and that you are comfortable sourcing. So for example, Nike or whatever, whatever you know, whatever you did your homework for, and you are gonna like just scroll down and selection a few products that you think can sell. You cannot just select, you cannot just choose everything. <coughs> Sorry, because it's gonna take you too much time, right? So this is something that you need to do really quickly and just scroll down, go through the pages, selection a few. So for example, we see that they have Nike socks. Choose your few products, but before you do that, so try to find a few coupons so you can reduce your cost. Try to see what coupons are going on. Um, if you can get gift cards and stuff. So that way you can really get an idea of how much you're gonna pay for the product use my free spreadsheet calculator to do that um, it's going to be super easy link in the comments as well and yeah so go fast through the product selection so nike socks you know that nike socks sells good now i don't know if you're going to be able to be profitable at that price maybe if you find a good coupon maybe if you got some gift cards i don't know but do this go through grow through product fast selection a few products that you think can sell good Check them on Amazon and see if you can actually sell them. So this is what you would do with this, this second category of website. No, once again, it's a little bit more advanced. You need to have some experience, build your experience first, and then you may be able to find some product like that. All right. 
we have a third category of product and this is going to be the last category of websites that you are going to manual source on all right so this is going to be websites that you typically can scan on tactical arbitrage for websites like pages that you scan on tactical arbitrage so for example right here we have the sephora sales section so you can scan that on tactical arbitrage but typically there's some product that tactical arbitrage will not pull right so you need to scroll down and once you once you do that you know once you do this a little bit you know what type of product um tactical arbitrage will not pull so a good example of product that they won't typically pull is uh, bundles right so let's scroll a little bit and we can see that they do have this bundle which is give by gwen stephanie whatever if you're pretty young you do not know who gwen stephanie is i had no idea she was doing makeup but she was a legend back in my days uh, and i'm still young so but i know a lot of you are younger than i am so um when i was a kid she was popping no she was basically if you if you if you're young she was basically um who is this girl called uh i forgot her name the the girl the the white girl with green hair singing billy eilish yeah she was basically billy eilish back in my days okay for you kids out there so you are gonna go to the product page and you are gonna go you are gonna try to find right there so you are gonna try to find what the set contains right and because you want to break down those sets do not sell those sets as they are break down the sets try to check every single product of the sets and get an idea so it's going to cost you 250 1250 divided by three so it's going to be like four <coughs> 415 per product plug that price in the spreadsheet calculator um put it with your cashback see what you're gonna actually pay per unit uh, on the set not per unit but per product and then check every single product and see if you make profit overall right so this is there's a few other products that they will not typically like that tactical arbitrage won't pull um but typically those products so the sets are what they're not gonna pull so you can see that there's a few sets for example on this on this um sales section so you have sephora favorites the old ericsson whatever all those brands check all those sets and yeah try to see <coughs> sorry try to see if any of the products that are on those sets like if any of those sets are going to be profitable for you because it's going to give you a, um, a competitive advantage because a lot of people do not do this and you can see that there's a lot of sets so that's the fourth set that we found um there's a few i'm not going to load more because yeah so check the sets check the, it's going to give you a competitive advantage because people typically do not check those sets right people do not check this so do this um this these are the three bundles if you want to learn now how to actually get better at reverse sourcing check out this other video and i'll see you in the discord